Hello everyone and welcome back to another installation of College Cooking Made Easy with your favorite chef. Today, we're going to be cooking an oh so special dish, lettuce wraps. Keto friendly, gluten free, vegan, pescatarian, high in protein, low calorie, and filling. The perfect way to spice up your everyday meal prep. To get started, you'll need olive oil, chicken, a bell pepper, a red onion, an avocado, butter lettuce, chicken broth, garlic, and seasonings of your choice. I personally found this turmeric in the back of my spice cabinet. I don't actually know what it tastes like. First, we'll prepare the vegetables. Take a cutting board and a large paring knife. Remember to sharpen your knife every time you use it. This will extend its shelf life. We will begin with our bell pepper. Wash, then chop the top of the bell pepper to scoop out the entrails. Once scooped, you may eat the top part. Cut the bell in half and continue to do so until you have several strips. Cut the strips laterally to cube them, then continue onto the other side. Continue to cube the bell pepper into fine particles. If you have a friend, you can speed up the process. Next, we will chop our onion. I recommend red onions for this dish. Red onions are set apart by their maroon coloration and their sweet and tangy flavor profile. First remove the outer crust. Cutting these can be difficult. This is why we will be using an apple slicer. This is an easy and mess-free way of gliding through that onion without making your eyes tear up. Lastly, our avocado. Unlike other fruits, avocados come with a cool prize inside. A wooden ball. As I have several of these already, you can dispose of this by whacking it as hard as you can. Dice the inside of the avocado by drawing grid lines inside the skin. Be careful not to puncture it. Onto the stove. Set your heat to medium rare. Drizzle some olive oil and leave it to simmer. We'll begin by caramelizing the onions. Around now is a good time to crack open a cold one, because cooking is hard work. Share some with the onions. I'm sure they're thirsty. Once those are nice and evenly browned, you can add your bell peppers. This is the time to add some seasoning. Here's that turmeric I found earlier. This looks fun. Some Japanese rice seasoning. Remember kids, recipes are just suggestions. Next we have our standard salt and pepper, and lastly our garlic. A good tip is to squish it with the flat part of your blade. We'll now add our meat. I personally prefer chicken because I disagree with the inhumane treatment of the bovine industry. Make sure to remove the diaper before cooking. Next, we'll be adding rice. This step is optional for you keto folk out there. Here's some rice I've cooked in advance. Add about one cup. For rough estimates, one cup is about the size of three large walnuts. Next, we'll be adding our chicken broth. I do not have chicken broth, so we will be substituting tomato sauce. You can make this substitution because I once saw a chicken eat a tomato. Leave that to simmer. While we're waiting for this to simmer, we can take a quick break to make some coffee. 
for this, I'll be using a hand grinder. Do not use an electric grinder, as the static electricity will ruin the flavor profile of the bean. You have to put your heart and soul into every little bean to bring out the best flavor they have to offer. Now that the grinding's finished, I'll be making some cold brew coffee, because drip is for people who hate themselves. To do this you'll want a pitcher or other container. Add in the beans and add water to that. It's recommended to cold brew the coffee beans overnight for about 8-12 to 12 hours, which will create a mellow coffee concentration you can then water down and enjoy. However, that no longer does anything for me, so we're leaving it for 72 hours and not watering it down. While our coffee's brewing, I think this is the perfect opportunity to open up some fan mail. Let's read what this fan has to say. Crowboy, I hate your videos. You post L after L, your voice is annoying, and your content is flat. Delete your channel. Coffee's finished. Look at that. The perfect cup every time. Mmm. If you've been following the recipe along to this point, it's important to note that FDA guidelines state chicken cannot be left out unrefrigerated for more than two hours. In making our coffee, we've accidentally left out the chicken for 70 more hours than is a safe limit. We will unfortunately have to start over. Now that our main filler is done, it's time to prepare the lettuce. Take your head of lettuce and remove two appendages. Wash it first, because lettuce is icky. Take your spoon and fill one leaf. Over that, squeeze your avocado like a tube of toothpaste. Our lettuce wrap is not up to OSHA standards and is structurally unsound. Reinforce it using some plastic wrap. Repeat this process several more times with the remaining ingredients. And there you have the perfect lettuce wrap. A breathtaking centerpiece to that fancy dinner day. Let's try one. It's, it's okay, I guess. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and remember to comment when you try out your new favorite recipe, the lettuce wrap.